Hello and welcome to another Sights and Sounds video here in Costa Rica. Today we're in Tamarindo Part 2. We're going to be checking out a different part of Tamarindo. If you didn't catch the last video, catch it. I'll post it somewhere around here. If this is your first time joining us here on Sights and Sounds, be sure to like, follow, subscribe. Check this out, Ban Bamboo, Su Bamboo Sushi Club. Check that place out. Leave us a comment with your thoughts, requests, any information you have about the things that we see in this video. So once again, we're in Tamarindo, Guanacaste province, surf town. You can see lots of people surfing here. So on our first video here in Tamarindo in 2023, we head down that road. So check that out if you're interested in what's down that road. Today we're gonna head up this road here. Lots of shops here, lots of souvenirs. Check that out when you're coming here. So once again, Tamarindo is about an hour and a half away from the Liberia airport. Very convenient. Proximity to the airport is important when you're coming here because sometimes traffic in and out of San Jose can be nightmarish. So this road, try to get a good angle up here. This road just heads up further into town. So you see there's a lot of parking here. Right there is these guys, the parking attendants, flip them a couple bucks if you can. They do help you in and out of traffic. I don't mind paying those guys. A lot of people, it's very contentious. Do you pay these guys, do you not pay them? I find if they help you in and out of traffic, they watch your car, give them a couple bucks. That's my thought. So down here, this is kind of like a high-end shopping center. And there is an ATM down here that is said to be one of the only ATMs that necessarily works. Hey. It's just right down here where these folks are hanging out at the BCR. There's the ATM right over there, so check that ATM out. If you're here, you need some cash. I take out uh, cash all the time with my credit card. Probably pay high fee, but it's, I don't know, I find it's the easiest way to get some cash out. So down here, there's just a bunch of shops. There's restaurants down here. Realtors, oh, they got a little presentation going on. Trying to make the case to move to Costa Rica, I'm sure. Cool restaurant here. So actually right across the street here, there's a food court right beside that store, Wild Panda. There's a big food court in there. We've eaten there before. You can get some, you know, dirty quick hamburgers in there other food if you're not looking to sit down for too long now this is a little road here we'll check out real quick here's the breaking bad restaurant it's a bakery the cool name really hip this shop here pretty high end but they have a lot of unique stuff check them out now here's a little here's a little trick if you're coming down to tamarindo be sure to get your groceries before you land here because all the corner stores here are extremely expensive, but there is a super compro right here. That's a supermarket. You're probably gonna be pay a little bit more, but it is a department store, or a supermarket rather, so it's a big one. If you have to get stuff in a pinch and you're down in downtown, check out that super compro. And then there's a pizza joint right at the top here that's really good too, and has like a really nice ocean view. So then check this place out. You can see the big Tamarindo sign. There's a skate park here. Basketball court. Good, good. This is a cool spot. There used to be something here, like a big net jungle gym. Maybe too many kids were getting hung up on it or something. So and here's another shopping center. What do we got here? Some cheeseburgers. They're closed right now. All these places are closed. Maybe they open later. We're here on a Friday. So I'm sure most stuff is open. And it is high season. This is when everybody down here make, making money. Lots of money to be made in high season when all the tourists are coming through. Panaderia. That's where you get bread. That's where you get the pen. Oh, look at that. That's a huge piece of bread. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm hungry. I am most certainly hungry. There's some more real estate stuff. All right, now this is kind of the central road right here. You can see this really big apartment here. Now, this road continues on. There's more accommodations down there. There's more shops down there. There's lots of stuff to check out down this road. And that'll actually take you the back way out of Tamarindo, out to Villarreal. That road is a little chonk though, it's dirt. So it might take a bit longer if you have a small car. This road here goes to Playa Langosta. It's a bit more uh, quiet beach down at the other end. What I'm gonna show you guys is a nice little spot that you can park your car. Actually, let's go across here and check out what's going on over here. Let's check out some of the shops over here. Okay, so we got coffee there. I'm coming back. I'm coming back here. Leave a comment if you wanna know how it is. I need some coffee ASAP. So this is a big apartment. This is a cool apartment to stay in. Give you a nice view of Tamarindo Bay there. Oh, there's another coffee shop, but I'm committed. I'm committed to the other one. I'm gonna check that one out. Restaurant, there's a corner store here. Once again, if you, if you rely on these little corner stores near the beach to get most of the bulk of your stuff, you're gonna pay a lot of money. So if you can, I encourage you to get it at a supermarket, Super Compro or Maxi Pali or any of those. On the outside of town here, there's a supermarket called Auto Mercado. They are generally very expensive, but you can get a lot of stuff that you can't find anywhere else. At the Auto Mercados, it's a chain here. And generally you see Auto Mercados in the more high end towns and areas. So again, we're heading down this road now there's going to be some some routes turning to the right here where you can get access to the beach. So here's one. Now at the end of this road there's a public parking lot where you can pay to park close to the beach. But if you don't go down this one, we go a bit further. I'll show you the benefit of doing that. It's of almost zero cost to you and huge benefit. Check this out, all up in this street here, there's all accommodations up in these streets. So off this road to the left, there's just roads that go and they wind in and out there. So you may find short-term accommodations back there or long-term accommodations, hotels and, and that. So hopefully this gives you some idea of how far it will be to get to the beach, what it looks like, what the road looks like. You know, you can see they did they did good here with these bollards, right? Give you a sense of security while you're walking so you don't get run over. And there's a sidewalk here. That's something that, you know, you don't see everywhere in Costa Rica. So that's good. Buses. A lot of people ask about buses. There's a few predominant companies that run buses, but not necessarily a countrywide bus service. So what you'll have to do is you usually go to the junctions. Like for example, if you want to take the bus south from here, you'd probably have to go to Liberia or around Liberia and take a bus down to Punta Arenas and then continue on from Punta Arenas down south with a different carrier. We've done the buses here a few times and they're pretty convenient. They're easy to figure out. Schedules run often. There's some backpackers waiting for the bus. I see a lot of that. A lot of people backpacking. If you've backpacked through Costa Rica, leave me a comment. Let me know how it is. And there's so many hostels here too. I've not stayed at a hostel here. I've heard good things in a lot of the places for hostels. Okay, so this is where you're gonna turn. If you're coming down here, 
you're gonna cross the little bridge. You may not know that it's a bridge there, but just look for this, look for this area where the road starts splitting, where this guy's going down. So this part of the beach, you can essentially drive right down to the beach and park your car right up against the sand and essentially tailgate out of it. So ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, if you wanna be closer to downtown, closer to the surfing, check out the north end. But if you're down here, you know, and you just wanna pull right up and chill, this beach is a lot more chillaxing, tranquilo. You can see, you know, the, a car could do this. Just go slow. If you're over terrain like this here, you're, you're driving, just go really slow. So you don't smash your bumper off. Let's go check out the beach. <laughs> so check this out. This is this is I like this, right? I like being able to pull right up. Basically unload right at the beach, hang out right at your car. All right, there you go. So there's the beach down here. You can see it's way calmer, way calmer, better for swimming. There is a bit of people surfing down on this end. You can see, but it doesn't look like the waves are as crazy. Maybe if you go out a little bit, it's a bit crazier. There's that beach, that island beach there. All right, and you can see way back down there is where we started the first video on the north end. So once again, thanks for joining here on Sights and Sounds. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, throw a thumbs up, turn on the bell notification so you get notified when we upload a new video here. Leave us a comment, request your thoughts. Once again, thanks for joining. Hope to see you soon here. Bye now.